I have no data on this fighter. I can't believe it. It must be an intruder from another dimension. Whoever it is, the goal remains the same. To fight and win! Well, that was pretty lame. Hello everyone, this is Beals TX, and a while back I created a video of my top 10 and favorite Snake's code calls. The video did well, I was planning to do a top 10 pilot team guidance video after all the DLC was finished. But as Joker reveals, all the DLC guidances are going to be the same at Plants for some weird reason. So I'll compile the list of my top 10 favorite Polytanus guidance video. Let's go! Look at that cute little robot. ROB isn't a very creative name for a robot. I think it has a certain ring to it. No way! Any name is better than ROB. Like, hmm, how about Mr. HVC-012? That doesn't exactly roll off the tongue. How about RoboBuddy 3rd Edition? And what happened to the first two editions? Oh, good point. How about Zergladron? Let's just keep things simple by calling him Rob. The light on its head shows you the strength of the laser it's about to fire. The moment you forget about it, it'll unleash its laser maximum power, so watch out! Whoa! It's Ken! He's the son of the Masters family and a U.S. martial arts tournament champion. I heard he's still rich. Really, Pitt? Sounds like someone needs to up their angels allowance. Back to Ken. He's energetic, cheerful, and boisterous. Pretty much the opposite of Ryu, who has a much more serious personality. Uh, why are their attacks so similar then? Ken and Ryu are friends that train together in the same fighting style. It's a martial art close to karate that originates from Ansatsuken. They're known to use Hado as well. You know, Ken doesn't seem like such a bad guy. Let's just hope he doesn't give in to the dark Hado. Okay, gossip time. Did you know Ken's wife, Eliza, is also Julia's sister, and Julia is married to Guile? <laughs> what? So Ken is Guile's brother-in-law? Of all the fighters, Link is the one I most want to take down. Oh? Why is that? We were born around the same time. And we both use a bow. He's totally ripping off my style. Please! Comparing Link to you is like comparing a star to a campfire. What? Just look at those chiseled features. <sighs> His cheekbones could seriously cut glass. Uh, Earth 2 Viridi! <laughs> oh, I'm only kidding. The goddess of nature would never be interested in some hairless monkey. Oh, humans aren't all that bad. I could introduce you to him, if you'd like. <laughs> if you insist. Back to the fight at hand, Pit. You can reflect Link's projectile attacks using your Guardian Orbitars. Just watch out for his dreamy claw shots! Uh, are you guys seeing this? This girl can transform herself into an octopus! A squid, actually. This curious life form is an Inkling. They're squids who evolved to shapeshift into human form. Inklings rose to power 12,000 years after mammals went extinct! Extinct?! What year is it right now? Don't think about it too hard, Pit. It'll just make your brain sweat. 12,000 years of missed meals? Oh, man. Focus, Pit. If an inkling hits you with an ink attack, you'll take extra damage until the ink evaporates. However, inklings can't use ink attacks if their ink tank is empty. That's the time to strike. Two of them? That's cheating! Say hello to the Ice Climbers. They haven't always had the best cooperation, but their teamwork seems pretty solid now. Okay, sure. But what about the fact that there were two of them? Did they get kicked out of Smash for illegal teaming? Well, they're back now, so I'm pretty sure it's allowed. I mean, you could pair up with Dark Pit if you wanted to. Never! Your physical powers are equally matched. It's a perfect fit, really. That is true. Hmm. Now then, which one of you is the leader? Definitely me! No way. I'm the leader. Oh yeah, they make a perfect team. In any case, 
when fighting the Ice Climbers, defeat Nana first to isolate Popo. Try to separate them. Princess Peach? Actually, that's Princess Daisy, Princess of Sarasaland. She was kidnapped by a space alien named Tatanga, but Mario rescued her. Right. Kidnapped, then rescued by Mario. Princess Peach! No. Daisy doesn't get kidnapped as often as Peach does. Okay, I'm picking up what you're putting down. Daisy always gets kidnapped by Tatonga. Wink. Look, Daisy is a totally different person from Peach. She's much more, like, energetic and stuff. You know, she's a go-getter. Plus, her symbol is a Daisy. Pretty cool to have a symbol that's also your name. Yeah. But have you ever seen Peach and Daisy in the same place at the same time? Pit, if you had a symbol, it would be in the shape of an armpit. Uh, is that... <laughs> Princess Zelda? Yes, that's Zelda from A Link to the Past. She's a descendant of the Seven Sages. When she was captured, she used telepathy to ask Link for help. Hey, Zel. Hey! Knock it off, Reedy! Focus Pit. Zelda has a projectile attack called Din's Fire. It can be steered through the air, kind of like your arrows. The trajectory of Din's Fire is really hard to see, so it's important to pay extra close attention when fighting her. Sweet. Yes and no. That's young Link. He's the child version of the Hero of Time. The Hero of Time? The Link who mastered the Ocarina of Time and faced Ganondorf. Link's actions as the Hero of Time created parallel worlds, and from there many different legends were born. I don't follow. What do you mean? If you were defeated by Medusa, Palutena wouldn't be here today, right? True, but what does that have to do with anything? have triumphed over Medusa in this timeline, but in a different timeline, you've lost that fight, leaving Medusa and Hades to rule the world. Every action and inaction creates infinite parallel worlds. You're only in one of them. Wait, I'm not the only me? And nothing I do matters because another me will do the opposite? Then what's the point of doing anything? Breathe, Pit. Focus on young Link's short reach. He may be fast, but try to outrange him and anticipate his movements. Um, who's this guy with the chain whip? That would be Richter Belmont. Pardon the interruption. Ah, don't sneak up on us like that! Ah, Alucard, hello! Pit, meet Alucard. He's the son of Count Dracula. Dracula's your dad? That's so cool! Hey, do you have bangs? Are they sharp? Pit! It's pretty personal! You really want to bring up blood sucking things? What are you? Oh no. You're not here to suck my blood, are you? I need it! No, I don't like the taste. And my mother taught me not to cause suffering. My father chose another path. And so I've sworn to stop him. Richter here is the descendant of a man who shared my birth. He has a strong sense of justice and is an honest man. But that in turn makes him easy to manipulate. He was once cursed by the Dark Priest Shaft, who used him as a puppet to control Dracula's castle. So, you're saying he's kind of, uh, simple? Don't throw stones if you live in a glass house, Pit. I very much doubt that you could effectively run a castle. In any case, Richter is a formidable opponent. Underestimating him would be your undoing. Alucard, do you also intend to participate? I am merely here to assist Richter, and anyone else who calls upon me. Is that a piranha plant? Not so loud. She'll hear you. Did someone say piranha plant? Oh no. I wrote my thesis on piranha plants. There are just so many species. You got your basic frog plants, your fire frog plants, chewies, nipper plants, nipper scores, hunters, choking piranhas, wild chewy piranhas, Big fire piranhas, prickly piranhas, peewee piranhas, pinky piranhas, wolf piranhas, big bone piranhas, old piranhas, big bone piranhas, 
piranhas, piranha cotton, piranha creepers, nippers, or catches, creeper fire piranhas, poison piranhas, big poison piranhas, upside down piranhas, kitty piranhas, kitty piranhas, kitty piranhas. Whoa! I haven't even started with all the minor variations. Enough, Faridi. I never want to hear the word piranha ever again. I guess that means I'm not getting any fighting tips. Thanks, Faridi. 